Hello Development Wizards, Walters954 here going over the challenge for the Platform Developer 1 Certification Maintenance Winter 20. So in this challenge we're going to be going over how to create tabs in uh, using a Lightning Web Component. So this is really cool and it's really nice that they're getting us hands on with this. And we're going to be walking through those steps. So here we go. I'm going to open up my Visual Studio Code. And if you don't have it already, authenticate through your to your Trailhead org. I have multiple videos on how to do that. So uh, just check out and do a quick search for that. Um, but I'm already authenticated here. So the first step is to go ahead and create a new Lightning Web Component. Uh, I'm going to be creating a, a tile. So we're going to do create lightning web component. They call it my tile. Go through all the default uh, locations for it. And let's open up our file path and bring up our metadata and the tile itself. And I will probably won't need the JS, but we'll bring it up. So uh, one of the things we'll need the exposed to be true because um, if it's going to be put anywhere, we're going to need that to be true. And then the next new target attribute that was added is this uh, target lightning tab. So we can literally have this on a tab by itself. And I'll show you what that kind of looks like here. Uh, my component. I think it's called words actually. So this, I'm going to open this up and this is basically what we're creating is, is an entire tab that is a lightning web component. So no longer embedding that into a lightning page by itself. It is the tab is the lightning component. So let's go back over here and put this new target in here, fix this. And then I'm going to save that and deploy, um, while that's deploying, I'm also going to get this tile code. So for this hands-on challenge, you'll be using this card and you can go ahead and there's a little bit of fixing up that needs to get done to it. So go ahead and drop that in here. But at least for this demo, we are going to set a tile, right? We're going to grab some tile code. So there's a bunch of stuff in here. I'm just going to copy it all and this is in the basic.html. So let's go back over here, paste all that in, save. And then it wants a CSS file too, but you know, let's not worry about that. And I'm gonna go ahead. So all we really need to make this tab appear is the deployment of the actual uh, XML with this lightning tab target. But for something to actually show up, we'll need to put something in here. So I'm just going to right click and deploy this to source as well. While all of that's going through, go back into my org. And we're going to see a lightning tab section in the uh, tabs over here. So we're going to type in tab, go into our custom tabs. And we can see here there's a specific section for lightning web components. We'll hit new. Whenever this loads up, there's this new selection for all of the tabs that all have that uh, target for lightning tabs. I'm just going to do my tile. Choose a really cool image. And then next, next to all of this, just so you can see it. So now that that is saved, we might have to refresh, but if I type in my, there it is, my tile. And there you have it. There's our standard tile, um, you know, component that we have in there that we just dropped in. So this is really cool and really convenient. At least you can have like a, a testing tab instead of embedding it and it being a little bit slower. I've seen that these tabs are a bit faster than that. So that's very helpful. Uh, and I think that's, that's pretty much all the knowledge that you'll need to complete this challenge. If you are struggling with this, you can install a package to complete this, but I would recommend uh, you kind of struggle through this and, you know, complete it through either Visual Studio Code or, or a different IDE to, you know, get some experience with Lightning Web Components. So that's all we have. Thank you so much for watching. If this video was helpful, make sure to like and subscribe. If you have any comments or video requests, please leave them in the comment section down below. 
I'm Walters954. Thanks so much for watching. And remember, I believe in you.